guys this is just me showing the experience with FedEx and our, my renewed MacBook Pro and here it came in this FedEx box and it came probably three days later after I bought it and obviously it says renewed there in the front and it's by Amazon that renewed it and it shows you the specs in the back but it's 200 500 gigabytes of storage and 18 gigs of RAM which adds up to 36 gigs of RAM with the unified on Mac and here it is uh, definitely not wrapped like Apple but Amazon renewed definitely tried their best and it comes with this MagSafe charger that's braided and it comes with the black so it matches the space gray and in here there's a um, instructions and a couple Apple stickers and of course the 70 watt charger and it works great been a fan since and I did check the battery and it has five battery cycles when I looked at the specs and I'm very happy with this product so far I got it really really new with that five cycle so here I am just testing the fingerprint and so far so good after it dries up it just disappears and I'm very happy with it and just the Apple thing when you put up the monitor it just turns on all by itself and that's not needing to be powered on or anything and it'll go through the boot up cycle and will initialize and there you go from there it has that nice user interface with a different language and there's me putting on the MagSafe, which is magnetic and will connect really easily. And there's some indicator there. Orange means it's, that it's charging and green means it's fully charged. So a little bit of a user interface there and user information that actually really helps. Here's me setting up my settings and my Touch ID. So far, every time I've done the Touch ID, it works 100% of the time. And there you go. And here is me connecting my AirPods because the rest of the video, it'll be a voiceover of me setting up my environment while I'm talking on my AirPods. And that's going to be the next audio. All right. Um, I just barely got this MacBook. I want to set up my environment and what I want to do right away is download Arc. This is going to be my default web browser. And yes, we want to definitely do that. I'm connected to my internet, which I have one gig. Um, we can test that out. Speedtest.net and press go. Well, that's downloading, All right? Please do not um, track my location. I do have a gig internet, but I'm currently um, over Wi-Fi running that on 5 gigahertz. So this is not a um, wired connection. Obviously, I'm going to get a little bit less, a lot a bit less. But download speeds 256, upload speeds roughly 300-ish hovering. And... We're gonna go ahead and download this. Arc is a very must for me. Uses up a lot of RAM, but it's well worth it. So we're gonna open Arc. And yes, we wanna give it full permission. Nice. Wow, this is going to be our gaming MacBook. So what I want to do is install Steam, steampower.com, download this into our Mac, install Steam, please, and thank you. And my goal for this channel is, honestly, I bought this refurbished, um, and... I can show you a little bit later where I got it from in Amazon, but I'll have to log in and all that. But this is going to be a gaming device. 
and I mostly just want to test out the capabilities of a MacBook Pro and see what its capabilities are and all of, all of that. Install software. All right, it looks like it's good to go. Let's see if it finished. Steam, yes please, give it all the permission you need. And I just wanna see, um, this is a MacBook Pro, six, 18 gigs and two, uh, 500 gigabytes. I'm also a software engineer, so this is also gonna be my work laptop and we're just gonna see how hot this gets and everything else and how it's gonna do with uh, playing games on it and I'm really excited. So it's updating Steam. Perfect. Do whatever you need to MacBook Pro. This is exactly what I bought. Um, 2023 Apple MacBook Pro and refurbished, excellent condition. And I showed you guys what it looked like on the outside. Um, I did get lucky and I was able to buy it for um, 1500 So that's like $100 less than this. And if you look at apple.com and we look at the same specs, brand new, it's going to be a lot more. So MacBook Pro, here we go, M3, we're going to act like we're going to buy one and 14 inch macbook pro and it's this one right here so two thousand dollars and i bought it for sixteen hundred so essentially we saved four hundred dollars um getting it refurbished and so far i'm really happy so far it looks good and this is what all came in the box 70 watt a power adapter and i'm very happy with that and yeah that's pretty much it boxing complete and this is where we want to be. So let's see. In the store, we want to just use any games that has Mac OS. And Firewatch looks like it's there. Um, let's see. There's a couple of free ones. So we're going to pick from here. And then just download it. Muck is free. So let's just start downloading that. All right, so we put us here. Uh, before you start playing, uh, press or tap the screen button. Okay, any button, click access, have fun. Okay, all right, so it looks like it went ahead and downloaded Muck. And this is them upselling some of their stuff. So. play on screen keyboard and this is all native to mac os this is them doing this i'm not doing any of this so this game is built uh, in controller support steam input cool so it tells you that it's on game mode and game mode gets prioritized i'm gonna pick up a rock so here's a rock nope apparently that's gold oh it's telling me where it is. And this is a YouTuber as well that made this game. His name's Danny and love his videos. But yeah, this is going to be my first video. Press E to pick up. E. K. Tab. We're going to equip this. So slap a tree. Let's go ahead and follow Danny and just slap this tree. Yeah, it works great. No complaints here. And I love the fact that right now game mode is on and it's running great native to Mac OS. Okay, so this is me just downloading homebrew. Downloading command line for Xcode and Homebrew. Um, one of the main things I wanted to download so I can show the status of this MacBook as it's running is uh, downloading this, which is stats. But you need Homebrew to do that. 
it'll tell you the CPU usage, GPU usage, it'll tell you your RAM usage, um, the disk usage, and the battery. <clears throat> so those are all really good, but you can install that via Brew, but to install that, you need to install Brew. So I'm in my terminal, copy this, open terminal, there you go. Okay, and really quick, uh, this is Alfred, this is a must. I'm just setting up my environment here. Um, if you have Mac OS or a MacBook, you definitely need this. It just has all, everything you'll ever want. So I already downloaded it and just gonna give it permissions to anything whatever you want alfred i'll give it to you okay i did it off the screen but now i can have spotlight as this command um spacebar and then yeah i still have a shortcut for that perfect and also i was able to finish um brew install so if i put brew doctor now yeah your system is ready to brew so i went ahead and brew installed stats and it's good now so stats open i'm gonna have to give it full permission i'm probably gonna have to do this so many times just because um everything needs permissions start the application when starting the mac yes please recommended Sure, share my data, finish. Okay, here we go. So my RAM usage is only at 50% and this is using 10.3 already. And it tells you what's using it. Looks like Steam, Helper, a lot of the Steam stuff. And solid state drive, it's using a total of 15 gigs. And that's your network. It tells you quite a bit. I'm just gonna go here. So we want to see the CPU usage, right? GPU usage, the RAM usage, and the disk usage. I don't really want to see the network or the disk. So you can toggle that off and on. So GPU using 6%, 1%, CPU is running 2%. And what's nice is you can see what's using the most, right? So here tells you all of that stats. Yeah, so homebrew is working, Alfred's working. I'm very happy. There's a couple more stuff that I want to show you guys. And this is how he did it. You just go to keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, spotlight, change that. So that's how I was doing it. And if you have any questions, just Google it or ChatGPT. Okay, another one is uh, side notes. Um, I'm a front end web developer, so I need that. I'm also gonna have to get GitHub and install Node. So I have quite a bit, but this is all my environment. And yeah, I'm gonna have to set this up. This is paid, but I can't live without it. Continue, and then I'm gonna have to put my key Thank you for showing me that. It's currently on trial, but I'm just gonna activate the license. But I'm sorry guys, I cannot give you the license for obvious reasons. Okay, so here's another one, Bartender. <clears throat> this one essentially just hides all of the, the applications you have open. So I don't always wanna see this, so uh, bartender will go ahead and hide that for you. So let's go ahead and set that up. Bartender applications, just go ahead and drag that. And let's see if it's there. There it is, bartender five. Perfect. This is a must as well. Okay, so this is a uh, bartender now. So if you click into it, It'll show you everything is on it, but if not, you don't have to see it. So, looks like with everything we're using, the GPU is using 18%, CPU is using 25%, and RAM's using 56%. And yeah.
pretty nice. All right, thank you. It took me a long time, but I finally set everything up. Um, bartender was one of them. And another one is side notes. So here I can just uh, make a new folder. So this could be like notes. And then inside that, you can just make a new notes. Hey, this is my new notes. And if I don't need it, it can just disappear. And there's a keyboard shortcut for that. You can just toggle it in and out. So that is called side notes. Which is this one. Okay, moving on. Um, we got uh, Air Buddy 2. So this is Air Buddy. And it just tells you the status of anything that's connected. So my MacBook Pro and AirPods Pro just tells you all of those information. So anything in your Bluetooth, it tells you how much battery and everything else. So that's AirBuddy. You can also disconnect and connect those right from there. Okay, next one is Quit All. So this is all the apps I have running. So if I wanted to quit the terminal, which is right here. So Quit All, it'll just, quit it from right there and another one I use is this so clean shot is what it's called and it takes screenshots and there you go give it permission quit and reopen go ahead and do what you need to there clean shot there you go capture a full screen and here you have the option to <clears throat> edit this and there you go done and there you go there's your new screenshot so I don't really want to keep that screenshot X this is beam this is chat GPT like AI and there you go so here it's a toggle control spacebar. Hey, tell me something important. There you go. So ChatGPT, and you can just have it right there whenever you need it. It tells you how much it costs each time because you need an API to use Beam. All right, so there's Beam. There you go. So those are all of the um, applications I needed, and it's a lot better. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my brand new MacBook that's refurbished. I really appreciate you guys taking time to um, be here with me and we're gonna test this refurbished because it saved us four hundred dollars and and moving forward we're just gonna do gaming in this MacBook to see how that works out. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys and your time and have a good day.